Good evening, good evening, families and friends. Good evening to you all, wonderful people of God. Hallelujah. What's it where you are? I just bring a good news to you this evening. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. What's it where you are, families and friends? Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for you. What's it where you might be this evening? I just come to greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Blessed Holy Spirit, trusting God in our generation. This platform is all about trusting God in our generation, families and friends. If today is your first time joining me on this platform, you are highly welcome. On this platform in the name of Jesus. You are highly welcome from this friend on this platform. It's not about mistake that you are here. It's not about might, it's not about power, but by his spirit that you are here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He is the king of glory in the beginning and the end. He shall glow no more from this friend. Thank you, Yahweh. I have to pull this camera off. A little bit fire away. Yes, from this friends. So what's it where you are? I come to greet you and bring a good news of salvation to you this evening. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good to you and I. He is great and mighty God, families and friends. Our God is great and mighty God. He is excellent. Trust me, go in our generation. What's where you are? I just welcome you. If today is your first time on this platform, when I have a mistake, brothers and sisters, the Spirit of God has led you to this platform, that this is this should not be your first time of you joining me, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make this place your home. Like and share the videos. Brothers and sisters, as God will richly bless you all that are sharing the gospel out there to God's people that need to be saved, families and friends. So many people need to be saved. So many people are panicking. So many people are going iwa. Iwa. So many people are going into anxiety and stress and depression because of what, because of what is happening in the world. But the word of God is here, brothers and sisters, to encourage all, to encourage our faith. Because this platform is all about trusting God in what? In our generation. Trusting God in what? Our generation. This is the generation that we are in that need to trust God. We need to trust God than ever before, families and friends. If you have never trusted God before, this is the time you need to trust this God. Because He is the one who holds the key to our life. Without Him, we cannot survive a day. Without Him, we cannot breathe brothers and sisters. So we need to trust God in our generation with all the chaos, with all the famine, with all the, pers the persecution, with all the rejection and all the stagnation and the, and the, and the rebelliousness. Brothers and sisters, we need to trust God. Because no matter what happened, brothers and sisters, the chaos, everyone that's happening in the world, God will always dis level with his people. God will never leave us to be destroyed by the enemy. Because he said, no, we will find against you and I shall prosper. He said, every all turn around and says against you and I, shall we condemn and it is condemned. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will never leave us alone, families and friends. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the rock of all ages. He is I am that I am. O many potent, O many presence, O many saints. Yahweh is his name, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. This is the God we need to serve on this platform. This is the call that we are serving on this platform, brothers and sisters. Serve the Lord with gladness. Do not lean on your own understanding, families and friends. In all your days, acknowledge the Lord. Acknowledge He, God Almighty. Thank you, Yahweh. He is great and mighty and excellent. What an excellent God that we are serving, families and friends. Thank you, Lord. You are great and mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But families and friends, I bring the good news this evening to you, brothers and sisters, about you and I. Praising the Lord at all time. We need to praise the Lord at all time. Families and friends, I know there is so many things going on in the world that is beyond our control. But still, we need to praise our God. He deserves our praise at this time and the season that we find ourselves in as people are turning their back on the faith, turning their back on God, but also losing their faith to the enemy. You and I need to worship and praise our God because He holds the key to our life. He who the universe, he's in control. All the world, he's in control, brothers and sisters. The wrath of God is coming, brothers and sisters. We need to live our life. We need to seek God first his kingdom and his righteousness that every other be added unto you and I. Because we are living in the end time. Do you see all the signs? The storm, the heavy storm, the floor, or all these things are happening, the earthquake is in some places, it divides places. Can you see? People are lovers of themselves, they love of God. Brothers and sisters, there are so many terrible things the Bible spoke about. What to me just talk about love of themselves, love of money. People are unthankful, ungrateful, unholy, unrighteous, lovelessness, brutality. 
brothers and sisters, all these things the Bible spoke about, it is at the time that we are in. This is why God allowed me to open this platform. He opened this platform just to go in our generation. This generation is the wicked generation that ever existed. And you and I can trust God in this generation to know that He's the author and finisher of our faith, brothers and sisters. God will give us the victorious. The battle will be ours, it will be victorious, and we are conquered in Christ Jesus. Because our faith is standing on a rock, and that rock is Jesus. He said, In the time of trouble, as when I believe in serving and put our trust in Him and do not lay on our own understanding, He said, In the time of trouble, He will be with us, He will guide and protect us, He will have us in His pavilions, in His pavilion and in His secret place. Shall we do it? This is the promise that God gave for you in other seven. Promise and friends. Serve this God with gladness. Serve him with your heart, my body, and soul. Do not lay on your own understanding, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Do not you ever lay on your own understanding. Promise and friends. Hey, Papa. He's great and mighty God, exceeding God. I just bring the good news. Bless Friday, even to you always, where you might be. This even in the diaspora. I pray for your your life, your family, your job, your children, grandchildren. I pray for your business. I pray for your 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 health. We just commit everything into God's hands that concern our life and our well-being. That He will take care of us because He always has been taking care of us from the day we form in our mother womb. He has been taking care of us. So Father, I leave all your people to you this evening. You are the King of kings and Lord of Lord. I surrender to you, O God. Father God, we all are sinners. Forgive our sins this evening. Wash us, O God. Cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And forgive our shortcoming. Forgive every mistakes that we have found ourselves in. And let us repent, O God, and surrender to you, O God. Let my brothers and my sisters, let us, we all repent. And ask you for your forgiveness. Because First John 1 now says, If we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to cleanse, to forgive us, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness that will be a new creation, that all things have passed away, because everything has become new. This is the promise you gave unto us. So, Father God, guess come, O God. I stay in the gap and I call myself with the blood of Jesus and ask for your forgiveness upon my brothers and my sisters that are subscribed to this channel. They and their family in the love home. Father, have mercy, O God. Can I protect your people all over in the world? What's the, where your people are? What's their activities they are? They need to carry on every day, O God. Can I protect them from harm, from danger, from the arrows that have fly by day, from, 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 from the terror by night? You are our protector. Be that lifted up, O Jesus, in their home. Bless the family, the extended family, the loved ones, and the children, the businesses, their job. Get the traveling mercy as they travel along the way, traveling, they're traveling to go to work. Children are taking buses, Father God, and protect your people that depend on you, O God. Father, keep on honor your own brother, O God, honor your shield, let all dwell on, on your shadow. Psalm 71, Psalm 91 say, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide on the shadow of His God Almighty. We will say unto God, he, unto our God, the creator of the heaven and the earth. He is our she, he is our defender, he is our rock, he is our way maker, he is our provider, he is our healer. And so, Father, we take, thank you. We honor your name to take your glory this hour. Let me decree you go increase. Thank you for your word that is coming to your people. That Lord, it will go reach to the heart of your people, that the level will never be the same. Let me decree you go increase. I bless you, God, for the nation of the entire universe in the diaspora. I bless you for Europe, for America, everywhere, oh God, your people are. Babylon, oh God, I pray for Babylon. We pray for all the Babylonian country. And God, you are with your people that believe and trust in you in all this country, oh God, that the enemy is sitting in, oh God, to suppress your people, Father God. Your eye behold every good and evil deliver your people from the hands of the enemy, oh God. Thank you for fighting our battles that last into your hands. The battle is you, oh God. We give it to you, O God. Every battle of stagnation, no progress, no job, no money, sickness, limitation, rejection, prosecution. Father, we give this battle to you. You are the God that going to fight it for us. We lay at your feet, O God, at the feet of Jesus. We thank you. We bless you to take your glory and have your way that it will be done. This is our prayer, families and friends. We have come together in agreement to ask in the name of the Father, the Son and of the Blessed Holy Spirit. There's no distance in prayers ever you are. He is unstoppable, unbreakable God, reliable God. He's the God that we are serving on this platform. Just in your in the law, do not make your own understanding. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Those that trust me, Lord, shall be the Messiah. That can never be removed but by a bar forever. Psalm 125. From verse 1 to 5. Thank you, the Lord. God, you are good. You're so kind. This platform is all about trusting God. I will always remind you from the beginning to the end that whatever it is that you and I go through in this life, we need to trust our God. We need to put our trust in the Lord. It's very, very important that we trust God. Families and friends, thank you. Because we are not alone. We are not alone in this world. We are in the world, but we are not of this world. Our God is with us in everything that we go through. Thank you, Yahweh. I can read for you Psalm 125. That telling what about trusting, putting our trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and abide in the Lord. Trust in God and abide in God, brothers and sisters. We are living in the end time. We need to hold on to God. Do not let him go. Hold on to your God. Do not let him go. Bear a relationship with your God. Intimate relationship. Communicate with your God on a daily basis. Make time for Him. Let Him be your priority. Prioritize God in your life. Everything in your life concerning God. God comes first before anything. But as I say, say, they that trust in the Lord shall be as Man Zion, which can never be removed by God forever. As the mountain is around the board Jerusalem, so is the Lord a boy around, around the board His people henceforth and forever. Are you honestly what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? God is with you, henceforth and forever. As the mountain is around the body of Jerusalem, so is the Lord and brought around his people, henceforth, he said, and forever. That is his word. It cannot go back to him for. It cannot be changed by no man. The heaven ever pass away, God will stay forever. I want to read for you, brothers and sisters. That scripture was about trusting in God. We got to trust God in this generation, generation, the generation of this time and season that we find ourselves in, families and friends, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we need to trust in the Lord. But I bring you the scripture this evening, brothers and sisters, that I am praising the Lord at all times. Praise God at all times in all circumstances. Circumstances. We need to trust God in every circumstances. I will read for you Psalm 34, verse 1. The first scripture reading, Psalm 34, verse 1 say, The son of David, when he changed his behavior before, the Abimelech, he drove in his own, he drove him away and departed. I will bless the Lord at all time, David said. His praises shall continue to be in my mouth. Brothers and sisters, we need to bless God at all time. Be a good time or bad time. You got food to eat. You don't have food to eat. Bless the Lord. Even though you don't have the food, you exercise your faith. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence, the evidence of things not seen. Even though you're not seeing the food, but you know that God has already provided provide food for you that day for you and your family. God has already made a way in the desert for you and I to survive and live in the desert, brothers and sisters. So we need to bless the name of the Lord at all time. Be it good or bad, we need to bless his name. In good time and bad time, we need to bless his name. He is the only one that deserves the glory and the honor and the praises. Yes, families and friends. That is Psalm 34, verse 1. That I'm going to read for you. First Testament 5, 18. Talking about blessing the Lord. Bless the Lord in good time and bad time. Bless the Lord when even we don't have food to eat, families and friends. We need to bless the name of the Lord all the days of our life until our last days. We need to trust God until our last days and bless His name and wait for His time for our life. We should not be anxious for anything, everything we should give Him our prayer and supplication and make our request known unto Him. This is what the Lord God has said. I want to read for you First Thessalonians. Eating chapter 5, verse 18. Hallelujah! Father, bless the people as they walk coming forth 
let me decree you go increase oh god bless the life of your people as they listen to your word and the instruction of your word that we all need to obey and follow and follow your rules and regulation for our life oh god mm. brothers and sisters first Thessalonians 5 18 but read from 15 see that no no one see that brothers and sisters see that you and i as we are trusting in the lord as we praising god every day as we give him god the praises and the honor that he deserves but because he's the king of glory the beginning and the end the creator or uncreated as we give him god the praise every day he said you and i should see that we do not run on evil for evil to any man do not run on evil for evil for to, for any man or to any family or any friend when the person told bad to you do not pay back bad to them do good to that person anybody that you are good to and they are bad to you the good that you are doing to them it will look there a, a, a coal of fire on your head burning all the days of the life this is what you are doing to them this is how God will make them to be as they plan evil against you all the evil they plan against you it will come back to them there's a coal there's a fire on your head burning with coal this is why God will also not pay evil back for evil because which means we are always taking the case into our hand and he said venture is his we should not repay he will repay he said see that no run of evil for evil unto any man but follow that which is good do among yourself and to all men do among all ourselves unto all men we should be good to one another rejoice forevermore pray without ceasing in everything give thanks for this is the word of God in Christ Jesus concerning you and I do not quench the spirit verse 19 do not despise the prophecy verse 20 every prophecy that have come for brothers and sisters do not pay evil for evil this is a very powerful message here do what is both good among men and yourself rejoice forevermore in the Lord pray without ceasing in all things that you do in this world give God the praise and the thanks because you deserve the praises because this is the way of God concerning you in our life that's why he said we should give him thanks in everything be it good or bad hallelujah then he said question the spirit the spirit of God that do it in you and I to make us to be speaking he said question the spirit we need to be on fire for the Lord our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost we need to seek to do to see after righteousness and faithfulness with God. Despise not any prophecy that you, you have received. Work on the prophecy that you have received from any prophet, a true man of God. I'm not talking about the fake prophets. Prove all things, hold fast to what is good. Prove all things and hold fast to what is good. Do not hold fast to what is evil. Anything that is good, hold fast to it. Be a good person, have a good character. Let your light so shine before men that will see the good, they will see and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, hold fast to what is good, not what is evil. Or stand for any, for any or appearance of evil. God said you should esteem, esteem yourself for anything that is, has to do with evil. Esteem yourself for it. Do not be part of it. Our verse is uh, eighteen all the way to twenty-two. I stop. I stop to twenty-two, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah! I will write it down twenty-two. Then I'm going to read the second scripture reading. That says Hebrew thirteen fifteen. Hebrew thirteen fifteen. I'm talking about giving God the praise that He deserves. Out of all the other vision, Hebrew 13 15 say, For by therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise unto God. Brothers and sisters, families, and friends, ladies and gentlemen, we need to offer a sacrifice of praise to God all the days of our life. Praise Him. Praise Him in good time, praise Him in bad time. Praise Him all the days of your life. Offer sacrifices of praise unto the Lord. Magnify His name when you begin to pray.
before you pray, get into the hour, hour of worship, the hour of praise, before you begin to pray, brothers and sisters, and give your supplication unto the Lord. Let us offer a sacrifice of praise. Make sacrifice of praise unto the Lord. Make time for our God and offer our sacrifice of praise continually. That is the fruit of our lips that need to be given to God. As we are pressing it all time, we need to give him the fruit of our lips. He said, the fruit of our lips is the praise of sacrifice of praise that we are offering unto God. That is the fruit of our lips. He said, praise continually because it's the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate forget not for with such sacrifice God is well pleased. Such a sacrifice that even are offering, sacrifice or praise that we are using our lips to give to praise God continually giving thanks unto his name brothers and sisters. Such, such a sacrifice of doing good to people and depart from evil brothers and sisters it pleases God. Anything that you do that please God is a blessing for Mr. Christ. It's a blessing for you. I'm going to read Psalm chapter 100, verse 1 to 6. I'm talking about praises this evening. How you and I need to give praises unto the Lord in all, at all time. Psalm 100, verse 1 to 6. He says, serve the Lord with gladness. We come to serve God with gladness this evening. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yahweh. Our Father Omega, I come to say thank you. Jehovah Nisi, I come to say thank you. Elohim, Adonai, Yeshua Hamashiach, Yehua, Yahweh, Yesiah, I come to say thank you this hour. You deserve all the glory, you deserve all the honor. Take your glory to have away in this place. Be the highly exalted, be the highly lifted up in this one. Take your glory and take your seat in this one because the glory belongs to you. Hallelujah. You are highly lifted up, Jesus. You are highly lifted up, Yahweh, in this place. Thank you, Lord. You are highly lifted up, Jesus, Jesus, oh Lord. You are highly lifted up, Jesus, Jesus. Friends, I say, He is highly lifted up, Jesus, Yahweh, oh Lord. You are highly lifted up, Jesus. Jesus, there is healing in the name. Jesus, Jesus, there is power in your name. Jesus, Jesus, oh Lord, you are highly lifted up. Jesus, Jesus, but as I said, he's highly lifted up. There is power in that name. There is healing in that name. There is miracle in that name. There is deliverance in that name. And that name is Jesus. They don't have, they don't lift all his name. to give him the praise and the adoration he deserved. Serve the Lord with gladness. The son of David. Not David was the king of praise. He wrote 150 books of psalm. Of praises and adoration to God Almighty. The son of David make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. The entire universe. You know, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands. The entire universe, brothers and sisters. Make me need to make a joyful noise unto our God. Serve the Lord with gladness. You're coming before the presence of God. You gotta serve him with gladness. Serve him with gladness. Let your heart be open. Come to him with your heart, mind, body, and soul, mind and strength. Brothers and sisters, do not keep anything in your heart against anyone. Worship your God in your heart, mind, soul, and spirit. Give the glory that he deserve. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence. We're sinking. Come before His presence. This is why, brothers and sisters, whenever I come here, I always need to glorify the name of the Lord. In sinking praises and honor unto His name, for He hardly lifted up in this place. He is Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. We worship You. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh, Lord, we worship you. We worship him. He is, he is Yahweh. He 
It's a miracle working on. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle working girl. Your name is Yahweh. You are a wonderful counselor. I say, great healer. Mm, miracle worker. I say, promise keeper. Come and work your miracle. Your miracle day. Come and work your miracle. Your miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. You are a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. You are a wonderful counselor. Great healer. Hmm. Promise keeper. Miracle worker. Hey, Papa God. We give you praise. We give you praise. Promise our friends. I gave him the praise this evening. Uh, I, was, he's, I gave him the praise. He has a lifted up in his place. He's had a lifted up in your home as he welcome in your home. The spirit of the living God for me, yeah, they be, they take position in, in your home. Hallelujah. The person of God reign in your home with peace and love. Brothers and sisters, he said, Come before his presence with singing, know that he is the Lord, he is God. He want to make us, now we ourselves. Come before his presence with singing, know that he is the God that made us. Now not we ourselves. We are the sheep of his pastures. Enter into a gift with thanksgiving, into a cup with praise. Into his gift with thanksgiving, into his cup with praise, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Yahweh. Mm. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, his truth is his truth into all generations. His truth into it to all generations. We need to come into his presence with thanksgiving, with singing and praise. Know that he is the God. He the one that made you and I. Make your, your children. Create their entire universe. Create whatsoever we have here today. He provides everything that we own today. We never own it by ourselves. He is the God that is the provider of everything in this world. And he is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. I say the rewarder of those that diligently, diligently seek this God. Yes. Enter into a court, into a gate with thanksgiving, into a court with praise. Be thankful unto him. Everything that happened to you in this world, be it good or bad, be thankful to God. Say, Father, let your will be done in my life, O Father. If this is your way, let it come pass by me, Lord. Give me the strength, O God. Anything, O God, that I cannot that I cannot bear. You see, you're not allowing me to go through anything that I cannot bear. Give me the grace in the time, oh God. Give me the strength in what I'm going through. I need your strength. I need your presence. I need your energy. I need your power in my life right now to make me to withstand the test of time in my life. Brothers and sisters, and you see what God will do. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth into all generation. Thank you, Yahweh. I'm going to read for you Psalm 95, 1 to 7. I'm talking about praising God at all time, in all circumstances. No matter what kind of so, second, circumstances, circumstances you are in, or face this way, you got to trust this God. You got to praise God. This is what we deserve. This is what He deserves from us. Psalm 95. Psalm 95, from 1 to 7. Oh Lord, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us make a noise unto a joyful noise unto the rock of our salvation. Who is the rock of our salvation? Yahweh Adonai Elohim is the rock of our salvation. He is the King of glory. Thank you, Jesus. He is the Alpha, the beginning and the end. He is the rock of all Asia. He is the rock of our, of our salvation. He is the light giver. He is the way maker. He is the promise keeper. Lady of the valley, Lion of Judea. We thank you, thank you, Papa God. Let us, brothers and sisters, let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise. Unto him with psalm as we worship him. Here I am to worship. Here I am to say that, Lord, you are my God. Hey, Papa God, thank you, Jesus. You are to all together loving, all together faithful, all together wonderful. 
You are so wonderful to me, oh Lord. Hey, Papa God. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bother. Here I am to say that you are my God. You are altogether loving, altogether mighty, altogether faithful, faithful, faithful to all. Yahweh. We thank you, thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. To bow down. Oh, yeah, I am to say that. Oh, Lord, you are my God. Hey, Yahweh, you are together loving. Hey, all together faithful. All together wonderful, Lord. You are wonderful to the Lord. We may not know Yahweh how much it costs to see our sins that all the cross. Hey, Papa God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, brothers and sisters. I can't get tired of praising the Lord, you know. You see, for the Lord is great. When you see Psalm unto his name, the Lord is great. And his and the and the great king above all gods. The Lord is great and the great king above all gods. In his hands are the deeper places of the earth. Hey, Papa God. The strength of the hill is also. The sea is his. He made it and he made and his hands form the dry ground. Thank you, Yahweh. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before him. Oh, come, brothers and sisters of this evening. Let us worship and bow down before our maker. Thank you, Yahweh. Let us kneel down before our Lord, our maker. Thank you, Lord. For he is our God. And we are his people of his pastures and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, have not your heart if you hear the voice of the Lord this evening, brothers and sisters, as I come to you with the good news this evening, this Friday evening. Have not your heart if you hear the good news of the Lord when the Holy Spirit converting you to repent and accept Jesus Christ. Have not your heart, brothers and sisters, accept Him. There's a miracle awaiting you. There's an opening door. There's a breakthrough waiting for you. There's a the warriors of angels will be rejoicing into heaven when one sinner repent and accept Jesus Christ. Have not your heart as in the provocation and as the day of temptation in the wilderness. Hallelujah, your heart, brothers and sisters. Father, thank you that bless you for your word, O oh God. I honor your name to have your way. Take your glory, O oh God, and have your way this hour. I'm going to read the last scripture reading for you. is from Psalm 103. Verse 1 or 2. Psalm 103 is the last scripture I'm going to read for you. Hallelujah. The son of David, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is in me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, family and friends. Let God we bless the name of the Lord this evening, O our soul, and everything is in me, in my body, my organ, my veins, that, the, the veins that run through my body, the blood that run through my veins. Everything that in me and you, this even our intestine, our heartbeat, and everything that is in all our tongue, our eyes, everything, our heart, our liver, kidney, whatsoever that is in us, brothers and sisters, let it bless the holy name of God. He said, Let everything that is in me bless his holy name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Everything that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. His benefits. Did he say, he forgave all our iniqu that iniquity and healed that disease. He forgave our iniquity, all the iniquity, the bottom thing that we are doing, the lawlessness that we are carrying on, the brutality, brothers and sisters, the, the sin, the, um, the rebelliousness against God. Brothers and sisters, he is the one that forgave us and healed our disease. He forgave our iniquity and he our disease, our diseases. God, you are the healer for us. Oh God, thank you. Who redeemed that life from destruction? He redeemed your life from destruction. Any enemy play anything for you out there, brothers and sisters. Any ambush or any accident, God deliver your soul from destruction. He saved you from the destruction of your enemy and redeemed your soul from destruction every day as the enemy plot against you and I. Who crowned our, our, our head? I'm granted with loving kindness and tender mercy. He's great. 
father I want to take things for your word, oh God, you are great and mighty God. Who set the father our mouth with good things for his father? So that our youth may be renewed like an ego. Who execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed? He executes judgment and righteousness for all those who are oppressed. Everywhere in the world, God, people are oppressed. He executes judgment and righteousness for those that are oppressed. Blessed be the name of the Lord this evening from his friend. Let us bless the name of the Lord at all time. Let bless everything that is within us. Bless his holy name. That is the word I have for you this evening. May God bless you and keep you. May God make your face to shine upon you. From the book of Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. Numbers chapter 6. For verse 2, verse 24 to 26. That says, May the Lord bless and keep us all. May the Lord make your face to shine upon you and I. May he be gracious unto us and give us his peace. And surpass it all understanding. All understanding. All peace I live with you. Peace I live with you. Die forevermore. Until another live video, families and friends. Shalom. Have a blessed, wonderful Friday evening and blessed weekend to you all. And blessed first day of the month today is September 1st. Bless new month to you all, wonderful people. Hallelujah. I forget to say it today on Facebook. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. May God bless you, family and friends. May God bless you all. Bless new month to you all. May God give a long life prosperity. Let all receive good news this in this month. Let the month be a month of upliftment and progress and good news and prosperity and a miracle of good news, a testimony to the Lord. Stay blessed. Shalom.